Far from the rivals of popular mythology, the elite leaders of big government, big business, and big special interests are more often than not partners in collusion to help each other climb to the highest rungs of success and then pull up the ladder behind them. To be clear, the problem I'm describing is not that there's too much money in politics. It's that there's too much politics in the economy. Three and a half, thank you. So three and a half trillion dollars in direct federal spending, and then almost two trillion dollars more that's redirected through federal regulations. Exposing even a significant fraction of that amount to political influence would distort enough enterprise to pull our economy off of its moorings. And that's precisely what's happened. Well, what we're left with today is a warped economy, increasingly built on connections instead of competitiveness.